I am Tanisha Renee and welcome to my channel. So before we get started, I want you to hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell button so you won't miss when I make a new video. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm gonna do a quick 10 minute video on how to do a nice, I guess, natural face. Really like when you're in a rush, for real. So I'm gonna do it in actual 10 minutes time. I record it in actual 10 minutes time. So you're gonna see um, maybe three clips, which would be one when I did the intro, two when I did the comeback and outro, and then one more from when I went to go grab my setting spray. Other than that, it was done in exactly 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes. Well. Let's jump into the video. Let's get started. It is exactly 8.45 and I'm gonna go until 8.55. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, the Jackie Aina Extension Collection. And I'm gonna go in and spice rum just because that is my summer shade right now. And I'm just gonna take my wet beauty blender. Sorry, it is the Real Technique sponge. But actually, the one I like more than this, I think it's LA Colors sponge brush, and it is so soft. So, I feel like this would be pretty easy for me because I kind of get my makeup done in 10 minutes or less anyway. I think the longest part for me is probably like eyeshadow. But, <clears throat> when you gotta go, your eyeshadow may not always be blending for six hours you might have to pick one shade and go or you go for a night a nice neutral matte finish eyeshadow that just gets you out the door and for some people that's their everyday look for me i do like that once in a while but I don't mind actually jazzing up my looks with eyeshadow. Like, I just think it just ties everything together. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and use this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade Medium Dark. And I have this angled face brush. I'm just going to dip into their contour powder. I don't know what it is, but I love this contour. I just think that it, like, my skin is warm and cool. Not warm. Um, golden and neutral. So, for me, this contour has, like, a good blend of not too cool it's definitely not warm and not too golden and it definitely brings some of my color back because I'm a chocolate girl and I don't mind being chocolate when I go on vacation, I seek the sun. Like I I wanna be I wanna be chocolatey. If I was an even complexion of like brown skin, you know, we got knuckles that are a little bit darker than everything else. Hyperpigmentation is definitely our enemy. I 
Okay. Then I'm just going to take the same brush, dip into this Sculpt Powder. I'm just going to go underneath my eye with that. Kind of set that in place. And because it is pretty yellow, I don't mind it. Because it definitely brightens my under eye. Just slightly. And I'm just going to take it into my forehead. And literally, I can use this whole palette and get out the door. And I'm just going to take it underneath my contour where my jawline is. And it's just going to brighten up a little bit. And set underneath my chin, above my lip, and then my nose. And... I'm also going to take it and go over my eye just to set the foundation that I put over my eye in place. Alright, that's done. I have this e.l.f. Where is it? Where is it? Let's take this e.l.f finishing spray and go ahead and set my face this is actually the matte magic mist and set I'm going to take my beauty blender and just go over my face I don't like that it just squirted and did whatever it did to my makeup. I don't know what it just did. But patting it out, definitely patted it into my skin. So I don't have it anymore. We have three minutes left. So I'm just going to grab this Sculpt Palette from e.l.f. Dab into these two here. Apply a little bit to my cheek. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not do blush, but this is pretty cute. Got one eyeshadow brush right here in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and dip back into that contour. I'm just going to dab into that deeper shade, apply that to the corners of my eye, just to deepen it up. only time you're going to see one cut and that's when I got up to go get the setting spray from elf that's because I couldn't find it I'm going to take the highlight that's in here it is super subtle so I am like you can barely get anything out of this highlight so I dab in there really hard and just go to town and like look it's still pretty subtle <clears throat> unless I like Oh my gosh, basically rub through the whole palette. And it's definitely not a shimmery highlight. It's definitely more natural. And I don't mind that whenever it's like quick on the go. So. Alright. I'm going to throw on this lip gloss. Because, well, we don't got time for all that. lip gloss we're going to take the mega the colossal big shot from maybelline do our lashes and then our brows because what did I tell you guys my brows are thick enough 
I just like to tint them a bit darker. In time, it is 8.55. So that was exactly 10 minutes and this is my face. So I'll be back. I'm just gonna go lay my edges really quickly and we're gonna wrap it up. This is the finished face and I hope you like it. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. Let me know your quick 10 minute routine. I mean, mine's just consists of gloss and basically contour shadow <laughs> on my eyes and thank you guys so much for watching and i look forward to you watching me in my next video bye guys